Good morning. How the devil are you, Betty Nation? Thank you so much for joining me. So, um, really, really quickly, I've just done my first ever Ask um, podcast. I absolutely love doing it. Um, if you guys want any questions answered whatsoever, any questions in the world, personal, personal development, work, life, blah, 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 betting, then please, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm no guru, uh, but I do believe that I can help some people in some way. So head on over, um, or just email, simply ask at the betting guy.co.uk. Ask at the betting guy.co.uk. Right, this today, we're looking at later backs. It's very, very popular at the minute, later backs, aren't they? So I thought, you know what? Let's fire up the later back software. Somebody asked me if I could do one as well on Twitter. And so here we go. Right, later backs. So we go to later back settings in the software. And we simply click later back. And so I'm after here. This is a later back settings. Today, um, not tomorrow, just today. Um, it's got to be five runs. It has to be five runs. And a dub criteria, I'm saying that this has, in the last five runs, the horse has to have not dobbed 100% of the time. So it can it, to come in my data here, in this bit here, it cannot have dobbed in the last five runs. 100% of the time, no dobs. Obviously, you can change this as well. My green here is saying, I don't want my horse, um, show me horses that haven't decreased by 10% or more. So haven't decreased by 10% or more, and that will come up in my green column. Show me horses at my goal column that haven't decreased by 20% or more. So that's basically showing me horses that haven't decreased over 20%, haven't decreased by over 10%. Um, by the way, I am the world's worst at explaining things, so I make it sound more complicated than it is. I don't know why I haven't got the knack of explaining things, so apologies there. Right, um, so this is what the software has come up with all these lists of horses. That meets my dob criteria. These horses have not dobbed in the last five runnings. And let's we can sort them by any way possible here. Betfair current price. So we sort them by Betfair current price. Lowest to highest or highest to lowest, whatever you prefer. Um, so here, let's have a look at this one. So this horse, um, as you can see, let's have a closer look, is eight to one. We can press select now. And by the way, it simply goes boom and goes into our selections box, which is pretty goddamn cool. Um, so 40% of the time, this horse hasn't decreased by 20% or more than the Betfair SP. So as you can see here, there we go, we can see it's hit our yellow, so it decreased there by 15%. The Betfair SP was 15.91, went down to 13.5, only 5 ticks. Here it went from 3.8 down to 2.02, 46%. Another 40% here, so this one, 25% there, it has to be a slight worry here. So what I want to look at is sort by green percentage to see horses that haven't decreased by 10% or more. And we saw that again. 60% of the time. Now, don't get me wrong, it's 32 to 1, 20 to 1, 15 to 1, 60%. So let's have a look at this one. 12, 20 near Kettering. So here we can see it's hit our green three out of the five times, um, and it's hit our yellow. 100% of the time. So in none of these last five runs has it ever decreased in price by more than 20%, which looks to be perfect for later bets, later backs. Um, so later backs there. So here we can see 5.4 only went down to 4.7, 6.06 only went down to 5.7, 16.9 only went down to 17.5, 7.96 only went down to 7.6, 29 0.95 only went down to 25 and we can see the percentage here 13.1 5.86 actually went upwards in price so it's minus 8.07 4.48 and 16.54 so as you can see here um this one looks like the perfect later back looks slowly into stride as well we can see by the pace angle here slowly into stride in rear mid division um, in rear of mid division, so we we'll give it a two there. The mid division best, not much room, so we we'll give it a two again. Raced in mid division, so look, slowly into stride. It's it looks like the perfect one for a later back. If you are looking, by the way, um, to join our in play trade software, the betting guy waiting list. Here we go. There it is. I'll put a log, a link in the show notes, and you can simply press here. There is me. Yay. <laughs> And uh, yeah, why I built the software, primary goals, da 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 da. Um, and, but please, please, please remember, guys, this isn't a magic money tree. I feel like I need to say this all the time.
because um, we often, I, I just don't, I don't want you guys to become members and expect to win, 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 win. You've got to put in some hard work as well. You've got to put in the graft yourself. You've got to, um, it's how you read the figures, interpret the figures and do some extra work on these figures because all the information is here. You've just got to find it and interpret it correctly to be profitable. Um, but it's not a magic money tree. You can't press a button and all of a sudden you'll have a list of, of winners and you just bet them and that's it, you'll win. I just want to set standards and set expectations because I don't want you guys to feel like you're definitely, definitely going to win by just buying this software because I can tell you, you won't. Um, <laughs> I am the world's best salesman. <laughs> um, yeah, so just do your due diligence on these. All right, Better Nation, whatever you're doing this fine Sunday, have an awesome day and come on, Liverpool!